In July 1930, an increasingly desperate British Empire has sent the unescorted battleship Prince of Wales around to the Pacific to create a surprise strike at the port of San Diego. Unfortunately for them, uh, patrolling destroyers have spotted the incoming battleship and uh, are sent out to intercept. As the sun is setting, two groups of Allen M. Sumner class destroyers are in search of the lone British raider and uh, hopefully can find her before the sun goes down and it gets dark. And there she is, the Prince of Wales, one of the last battleships that the British Empire has operational. Now, we cannot underestimate a threat from this. It is a very capable ship, but at the same time, uh, we have six destroyers out. They are our most modern destroyers. And as such, we should hopefully not have too much of, uh, too much of a problem to uh, deal with this ship. We'll be sailing in in two groups. Uh, we'll go into tight formation and we'll hold off on the torpedoes until command is given, smoke at the ready and we'll try to go for a pincer move. So we've got the uh, Mole followed by Izard and Olik on, uh, on the port side and we've got the Alnem Sumner, Peterson and Sands on the starboard side. Uh, we'll get both groups to smoke up because we we have the we have the bearing and we just want to make sure the British don't get uh, any shots in, and uh, we'll 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 try to intercept her from uh, from both sides to give her no way of uh, evading the incoming torpedoes and hopefully that's the end of that particular raid. Okay, we have reacquired the ship. Uh, she is still ha still uh, she is still on course. All guns firing. And uh, we will see where we see if she turns before we open up uh, with the torpedoes. For now, all the destroyers are having their guns out. British have high explosive loaded, but uh, we have managed to we have managed to uh, to land the first hits ourselves. We'll go in closely with the with the left uh, the left group. Is she turning anywhere? Or is she still going? No, she's still going in a straight line. It doesn't have anywhere to turn, really. So, and I think we are getting relatively close to being able to drop torpedoes. Let's make sure that our, smokes, uh, our smoke is still running. Uh, and I think we can uh, get, the uh, get the torpedo solution going. Uh, we will split both groups off uh, as to not torpedo each other here once we have actually dropped the torpedoes. Mole is taking some secondary fire here from the Prince of Wales. And uh, I think we will aggressively drop now and uh, turn about. So let's get the torpedoes away. Same with the other group. Uh, aggressive torpedoes away. And uh, Prince of Wales is burning. Is burning rapidly. She is turning and uh, she is trying to uh, trying to evade the incoming torpedoes. But uh, I don't think she will have much of a chance in that regard. However, we do have to be careful with the second group. That uh, okay, Allen and Sumner, get your torpedoes away, please. We'll straighten that line out. I think the second group has not yet dropped. Uh, first group hasn't dropped either. Okay, there come there come the torpedoes. Torpedo drops away. Uh, so torpedoes incoming at the Prince of Wales. She is turning to evade. And uh, second group, please get your torpedoes away as well. And straighten her out. Uh, straighten her out. Get the torpedoes firing, please. Uh, there comes there comes the second spread. It's a beautiful cross drop. She is probably going to evade the first group, but not the second one, and that should be the end of the uh, Prince of Wales. Okay, we've got multiple torpedo hits, uh, uh, not as much damage as I was kind of hoping for. Does anybody still have torpedoes left on the second group? I think uh, I think they've all uh, they've all fired their spreads. Just have to be careful not to run in our, into our own torpedoes here. But uh, we'll we'll do the rest with the guns. The Allen M Sumners are relatively ah no, never mind. She is already sinking. 
uh, the fire has been too ex extensive and the explosions caused by the torpedoes are uh, spelling the end of that British battleship. She goes down with all hands versus uh, four crew killed by, uh, by return fire. And uh, most, damage, most damage dealt was by the Peterson with the torpedo hits and that was the end of the Prince of Wales. During a routine operation off the coast of Jamaica, the M18 mine layer has spotted what appears to be an unknown ship. Just when we thought the British were uh, out and done for, uh, a very, very large vessel has been spotted coming out of the harbor at Kingston and uh, heading for the Mississippi, escorted by the heavy cruiser Maryland. It seems to be a new British battle cruiser that will be in engaging here. And uh, that thing has some serious firepower. The Mississippi, of course, being a New Mexico-class battleship, a somewhat older vintage, uh, we'll have to see how she measures up against uh, the latest and greatest that the Brits have brought out. Uh, that thing appears to be almost twice the size of, uh, of the Mississippi and uh, definitely has a fearsome amount of guns to bring. But uh, given it's a battle cruiser, it might not have the best armor. We'll see what the Maryland can do. The first order of business is going to be to actually spot it. Uh, radio position finding is pointing, is pointing towards uh, west, west maybe southwest, yeah, uh, westerly. So we get uh, we get both ships to turn. Obviously, Mississippi, being standard type battleship, is not going to be doing the greatest amount of speed. Which means the uh, minesweeper is, reti is re uh, mine layer is retreating, and the Maryland is going to have to do some scouting. Plus, we'll have to deal with whatever escort the British are bringing along. Okay, we have a visual contact, and she's heading straight for us. Latest British battle cruiser. Uh, f that's five triple 16-inch guns, and uh, she is making she is making a lot of steam here. So. Given that the Maryland does not have uh, does not have a smoke screen, uh, she is going to probably have to turn about, and we're going to get the Mississippi as well to turn about and see if we can get into a sort of kiting position. Mississippi will have to draw fire. Right now, it's at 28 kilometers. There's no way that uh, she is going to be able to actually engage, and uh, Maryland is going to keep her distance. Uh, might get uh, deal with with the screen if there's uh, if we get any confirmation and otherwise uh, just try to either draw fire or uh, take some shots of opportunity but mississippi is going to have to do the heavy lifting here so let's get her turned around and uh well across the t mississippi is opening up uh, that means oh yeah mississippi hasn't been spotted yet so um so the brits don't really know uh, don't really know what's going on. They just realize that they're being shot at. But they don't really have anything to, to, to spot. Which means that their screen is not operating where it should be. It's interesting going to be see, to see where that... Uh, I think it was a destroyer coming with it. Where that destroyer is going to be. But uh, there are the incoming, incoming shells from the, uh, from the Mississippi. At extreme range, it's very unlikely that we're ever going to hit anything. But uh, she can uh, she can get all the turrets turrets turned around and open up, and we will still keep turning to starboard a little bit, just to make sure that we have. Uh, we're, we're ranging shots. There comes the full salvo. So let's see how well that goes. 14 inch armor piercing out and still they haven't they haven't they still haven't spotted us so their detection is actually not that great let's wait for these shells to come in it's gonna take a while to get there there comes there's the incoming fire and uh, yeah these shells are all over the place obviously at these kind of ranges uh, that last one sort of uh, relatively close that was a pretty good one and uh, Mississippi can now straighten out her course, and we're going to keep the Ma keep the Maryland uh, on uh, on spotting. I don't think she has the range with the eight inches to uh, to engage just yet, but obviously we have to be quite careful with the amount of firepower that thing can bring to bear. 
Mississippi firing again, having a high explosive loaded, but again, extreme range, relatively unlikely that we're actually going to hit anything. Okay, the Brits might have spotted the Maryland, so Maryland needs to turn hard to starboard and uh, see that we evade that incoming fire here from the British. There come the Mississippi shells, but once again, um, obviously too far away. Maryland is now opening up herself, so she is within range. Let's see if she can uh, make something happen with the high explosive, ranging shots out first. And uh, she hopefully has the speed advantage. Uh, she does 31 knots. And Mississippi is still oh, it's under 20 kilometers by now, but the 14 inches obviously will struggle to uh, will struggle to hit anything. We'll probably open up the angle a little bit more and keep uh, keep going around with Maryland. And we actually uh, got a couple of uh, got a couple of um, eight inch hits. Uh, nicely done, well done, Maryland. Uh, they, she has turned, I believe, so Mississippi actually needs to needs to probably yep, continue on the, on course, turn in a bit. Uh, Maryland keeps a respectful distance, but uh, first blood from us against the British, and Maryland is even firing high explosives. So uh, we'll, we'll maintain our speed because we need all the speed we can get. Uh, there is a smoke screen, so the screening ship has arrived in front, which means that uh, Mississippi also does need to be a little careful here uh, with potentially incoming torpedoes, and Maryland probably needs to... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, turn, we'll turn her around and return to, return to Mississippi just to make sure that uh, we, keep, we keep her screened because we are a little far away at this point. So uh, let's do let's do a hard turn, and oh, it was the screen that no, never mind. It was the screen that we hit, I think, uh, surely purely by accident, and whatever it was, uh, it has sunk. So that's why the high explosive shells have full penetrated. Okay, there comes the Mississippi's fire, but uh, still no no hits on on the big one. But I think Mississippi is in a relatively good position now. Uh, we'll keep going at flank speed. Maryland can now resume her. Uh, resume her free roaming position because the, the screen has been taken care of by some very very lucky hits okay incoming fire once again against the maryland and uh, will maneuver will maneuver rapidly to throw her off she is turning to give chase now so yeah we definitely need to Definitely need to get out of here, uh, open up the distance. And Mississippi can actually needs, actually needs to close in because she has turned to give chase against Maryland and she is a bit far away from Mississippi for effective fire. Okay, Maryland has successfully completed the turn. Now, obviously, that means we can only get the rear guns on target, but uh, open up the distance, see if you can land some hits. And Mississippi, get closer. Gently adjust course and fire everything. Okay, the first hits from the uh, 14, when Mississippi's 14 inches, uh, incoming fire on the Maryland, but uh, no hits so far. But unpleasantly close. The British aren't bad when it comes to gunnery. There's more fire coming in, and these are 16 inch shells, so um, I don't think Maryland is going to be particularly uh, happy when it comes to comes to taking these but uh, Mississippi is starting to get uh, to get the beer get the beads on these okay we're gonna we're gonna turn here just to throw off their aim uh, Mississippi can still potentially close in a little bit more and Maryland needs to maneuver rapidly which is of course throwing off her own aim but uh, to make sure she doesn't get hit by these 16 inch shells and the British are actually turning ab about interestingly enough and uh, still firing at still firing at the Maryland. Yes, still firing at the Maryland, who is in the turn, so these should miss. And Mississippi getting the next salvo ready soon. Obviously, with 21 knots, not really a big chance of catching this thing. Okay, it looks like the British are now actually firing at Mississippi, who still needs to turn in a bit more and uh, give chase. Yep, that's uh, incoming fire against the Mississippi, actually. 
And that was reasonably close for for first ranging salvo. Uh, not to uh, British gunnery is not to be underestimated. But yeah, she is opening up the is she opening up the range? It's difficult to tell because the British are maneuvering rapidly here. So uh, okay, they're focusing on Maryland again. These were probably secondary guns, but uh, do a hard turn to port to avoid. Yeah, she is turning. She's turning in again. So hard turn to port to avoid incoming fire. And yeah, Mississippi hold course slightly to starboard to get all the guns on target now. And. I think Maryland's dangerous turn. Yep, she is turning around. She's giving chase. So she was baiting our heavy cruiser into, into coming after her. Which means the secondaries of the Maryland are now in range. That is um, too close for comfort. So let's sail away and uh, see if we can see if we can bait her into a position where the Mississippi can cross her T. And get all the uh, all the guns on target. There comes the next uh, next 14 inch salvo from Mississippi. And uh, yeah, no, that's not hitting. Yeah, she is returning fire on. She returning fire against Mississippi now. Uh, she is. So in that case, Maryland can turn and get her own guns to bear again. Oh no, she's still taking fire here as well. They have landed hits, uh, six, uh, that was a six inch hit on, on the Mississippi, so uh, nothing, nothing disastrous. It's more the 16 inch shells that I'm concerned about here. Uh, keep the course and try to get the main guns on target. Maryland, yeah, uh, keep a straight course now. If she is firing at Mississippi, keep a straight course and uh, try to get some shots in. Okay, 16, 16 inch uh, high explosive hit on the Maryland, but uh, uh, it hasn't gone through the armor. Fortunately, uh, they were not firing armor piercing. That would have been bad. But now they are, yeah, now they're, they're sailing straight away. So Maryland can give chase and get all her guns on target, whereas Mississippi is relatively far away at this point. We are at a range of uh, yeah, just over 10 kilometers, which is which is very much doable. But uh, she actually has to, she actually still has to get lucky. This is an older ship in order to hit this British one. Okay, the Lord Clyde has turned about. She has taken a couple of hits, but nothing major. But this puts Maryland into an awkward position because uh, She's about to give broadside to the British, which means um, yeah, she probably has to she probably has to either turn away or turn in, keep keep the course and turn in. She is going to be able to land some shots, but unfortunately the British are going to be getting uh, better and better angles. And as we get closer, uh, this is not an enviable position that the Maryland finds herself in here. Uh, at least uh, this brings us this brings her closer to uh, Mississippi's guns who might be able to land some shots here on target but uh, the danger obviously is significant for Maryland and hopefully um, hopefully hopefully she can weather the fire with angling the armor and yes the British are turning about uh, I think uh, yeah Mississippi is firing high explosive I am going to switch the main guns to armor piercing for now and uh, and see if we can actually actually land uh, actually get some damage done because yeah they are turning away so okay the decision to keep the chase up was the correct one okay we've got armor piercing shells coming in from uh, the mississippi and unfortunately she overshot so we don't get to see what that would do uh, maryland is running a little low on armor piercing shells at this point <laughs> she's been expending a fair amount of them she is taking a couple hits from the secondaries, but uh, other than that, nothing major so far. We'll just hope that the armor holds up against the 16 inches. If the British keep firing high explosive 16 inch, that should be the case. There comes another salvo, but unfortunately no hits. Yeah. Um, 
Mississippi at this point is uh, is going to need to turn and give chase because the British are clearly uh, pulling pulling away now. So it's just up to Maryland to see if she can slow them slow her down sufficiently that the old battleship can catch up. But the, the lucky hits on the uh, on the on the screening escort early in the in the battle may have uh, sort of changed this turn turned this around for us because definitely the British are less eager now to engage. After a long, long engagement, uh, neither Maryland nor the Lord Clyde have managed to uh, damage the other one, uh, the respective other significantly. But however, what have we have achieved is uh, to push her back into the line of fire of the Mississippi. So uh, hopefully, hopefully Mississippi can get a couple good broadsides in here. We're going to stay our course, uh, try to close the range even further and uh, see if Mississippi's 14 inches can do what uh, Maryland can, could not. However, uh, all in all, I would say for a battle cruiser, she is less dangerous than I initially thought and uh, hasn't been quite as effective against our heavy cruiser as you would otherwise imagine. The interesting question, however, now is how much damage can the Mississippi do from a more or less, what are we talking here, eight kilometers, so from a, a pretty close range with the 14 inch guns. We we'll get her to close in a little bit further and try to get the rear turrets on target, but it should be a relatively nice drive by here if uh, if we can manage this. Meanwhile, Maryland has to, she uh, her magazines are running low on both high explosive and armor piercing ammunition on the eight inches now. She has to keep her, um, her armor angled, otherwise uh, things will go very bad very quickly. These are some, these are some really big guns. But uh, let's see if uh, this gambit paid off. I think there are some, sh some secondary shots coming in uh, at the Mississippi. But the big question is, can the 14 inches land? I think the fire now turning towards the Mississippi here. She is taking a couple of shots. And uh, yeah, she, is, she has realized the threat she's under. And being the much more maneuverable ship is, uh, is already is already turning about. Now that is going to give Maryland a couple of good shots from close range, but again we do need to close in here. And uh, I think once, uh, yeah, unfortunately the British have realized the danger they were in from Mississippi's guns. Uh, let's see if we can, let's see if uh, Maryland can drive by, land some shots here and then uh, drag her away again into the line of fire of the Mississippi. Otherwise this is going to get relatively tricky. Okay, there were some 14-inch penetrations landing here, I've seen, on the Lord Clyde, but uh, uh, superficial damage. She has taken some damage by now, but uh, nothing cat catastrophic. Uh, this is too dangerous, so we, we're going to turn about here. Uh, we definitely do not want to give broadside to the 16-inch guns at uh, 4 kilometers, so uh, we're going to be turning about and... Uh, We'll try to get some broadside shots into her. Yep, uh, there were some good penetrations flooding from the 8-inch guns at this range. Uh, not sure where, but um, keep uh, keep the angle up and uh, keep the guns on target. Mississippi can turn slightly and see if you can still land some shots from there. We'll see if we can force her again to uh, to turn about and give uh, give a better target to Mississippi's 14-inch guns. Maryland at this point is completely out of armor-piercing ammunition. She's got 180 uh, high-explosive shells left for the 8-inch main guns, and then she is down to the 5-inch secondaries basically at that point. Uh, the big question is: Can we force the British to give Mississippi a uh, I think I said Missouri earlier, to give Mississippi a uh, uh, a clear shot. And at 8 kilometers, that is not a bad distance. That is a good uh, that is a good broadside. And there we go. 14-inch uh, penetrations on the main belt. And that's what we wanted to see here. So if we can keep that up. So Maryland is going to keep trying to push her out. And I think... Um, I think her magazines have blown. Yeah, I think one of those 14-inch uh, penetra penetrating shells on the main belt from the Mississippi have uh, blown up one of the forward magazines. So far, it hasn't been. It doesn't seem to have spread. But uh, there we go. 
now we're talking that's some severe hits here and uh, I think she is uh, she's gonna go down here in a second it's the Lord Clyde basically taking on water all across the ship and uh, yeah battle cruisers they were meant to destroy cruisers in which she has failed against the Maryland and they were never meant to fight battleships so even the Mississippi's main guns once she got herself into range have absolutely wrecked havoc and uh, pretty much blown this one up yeah Mississippi has done uh, actually the uh, has has done the uh, has done the most damage with an ammo detonation on the 6.1 inch magazine that's probably why the ship didn't just completely blow up but uh, that was enough to get the enemy battle cruiser sunk